Let's check back in with Astrid, who has a full look at your forecast, a forecast that just keeps going and going and going, kind of like this fundraising, sun, sun, sun. Absolutely. And you know, for all the people who are shaving their heads, they are definitely going to need some sunscreen or a hat or something like that over the next little while because we still have another dry week to go, although finally a little bit of rain in our forecast, but we're going to have to wait a week for that. Start things off with your satellite picture, showing you the high pressure areas that are keeping our skies clear. Once again, that ridge that continues to build. It's quite, quite big all the way down to the Oregon coast, far north up to near the Haida Gwaii area. We're looking at that uh, ridge that continues to build and strengthen and stay put. It's really not moving much. And that's why our jet stream is so far north. It's keeping our systems uh, far, far north. Taking a look at your live school net weather sensors right now at Prospect Lake, we're at 20.4 calm conditions there. And we'll head over to Lockside Elementary, 17 and a half. So a few degrees difference right across the region, but nothing major. It is above normal as far as our temperatures go. And uh, we are going to see this high pressure area influence our forecast for another several days. Overnight tonight around the Port Hardy area, that's the only spot that may see a few clouds developing. Lows to four degrees, five along the east coast of the island. Again, with clear skies, Campbell River, Courtney Comox through the Nanaimo area. Cold overnight tonight in Port Alberni down to just two degrees. And we've got clear skies on the west coast through Tofino at five as well. For the capital region, anywhere between about five and seven degrees. Again, if you are into stargazing, this is perfect weather for you because there isn't a cloud in the sky and there isn't going to be one tomorrow. North to south on the island, in fact, right across British Columbia, there's only one spot that may see a little fog or cloud, and we'll show you that in just a second, but it is not around Victoria. 20 degrees is our expected high in the capital region. The Cowichan Valley also looking at sunshine for tomorrow. Highs to 22 through the Cowichan Valley, 21 through Crofton Chimenez. If you are up towards the Nanaimo area, you've got a gorgeous day on the way. Normal for this time of year is 15 degrees. Heading up to 21, it's like it's still August. 21 degrees in Nanaimo tomorrow. To the west coast, Port Alberni, you're the hot spot once again. Hard to believe it's October when you've got 23 degrees on the way. 19 through Tofino, you clue lit clear skies for you tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, Courtney Comox, Campbell River. Highs to 21 for you. And up around the North Island, Port Hardy. This is where you could see a little bit of cloud first thing in the morning. We're expecting fog to really develop as our dew point is uh, around four degrees. And we're going to see those uh, those low lying clouds and that fog for most of the morning, hopefully clearing up by noon. The rest of BC, there you go. There's the clear forecast. Your picture is beautiful. Tomorrow, Saturday, 19 degrees in Vancouver, 14 in Prince Rupert, nothing but sunshine. Over the next seven days, here's what you need to know. Enjoy this Thanksgiving long weekend. We are going to see beautiful skies up around the north end of the island and just a few clouds off and on Sunday and Monday. A few showers in the forecast on Friday for the mid island. You too have a good stretch of dry weather. So Nanaimo all the way through to uh, Thanksgiving Monday temperatures in the high teens up to around 20 on Monday. Friday next week, you might need the umbrella. And for the South Island, Greater Victoria also looking at a dry stretch through to next Thursday. Friday, you might see a little rain. Finally tonight, want to say a big thank you to Matt for sending in this gorgeous picture. Matt is 16 from the Nanaimo area, says the roses are still in bloom in his garden. And he just got a new camera and took this picture and sent it in. So thank you so much for doing that. Love this. He is tonight's weather watcher. And if you'd like to be a weather watcher, visit our website, ctvvancouverisland.ca. We'll take all those great weather photos and art work. Love to put those on the air. And it looks fabulous out there right now. It's it honestly is like August. It's it, amazing. Awesome. See you later, Astrid. Okay. Thanks.